Hey guys, Parfax here, and today we're talking about some exciting and new recipes and other little things coming to New World next patch. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're here on New World database, and we're looking at some of the new items coming next patch. Now, obviously, these are subject to change. And these could change there on the PTR. They could take them away or they could add more items. We haven't got the brimstone patch actual drop yet. We do have a lot of the stuff that is in that patch. We have that on the PTR right now. And I want to bring you guys a couple things. So we're going to be talking about first some new music, which is really cool. You can see here, it goes down to Sneaky the Smuggler. This is the live section. But when we go down here to the PTR, we have after Sneaky the Smuggler, we have, I believe it's 10 new songs. We have Weaver's Web, The Kid on the Mountain, Fellows of Windsward, How Today, My Camp, My Home, Weirdwood Leaves, Sounds of Bells, Ironwood Leaves, The Damn Fish, Su The Soup of the Day, and Carnerios, something like that. I hope that's how you pronounce it. If you're interested in what these sound like, you don't actually have to go too far thanks to New World themselves. You can go here, and they actually posted the new songs. You can see here, here's one of their new songs. We'll give it just a short listen. So as you can hear, it sounds really good. They have all of them on here. I actually went ahead and checked, so it was very nice of them. Put out this little soundtrack. It's pretty nice. But you can see we have Soup of the Day. Uh, we have uh my camp my home so you can see here they're all here so if you i'll put a link in the description to this make sure you go check it out because it is pretty good you can listen to all of your favorite songs so there's a bunch of them get collected i actually had a couple of them just by doing random things on the ptr so i was that's what i decided to check into and then when i started checking into these i started checking into a lot of the recipes and there's actually quite a few new ones that are gonna be really exciting Next, I want to talk about something that people got really hyped for, and that is the Golden Scarab. This is going to make crafting your BIS items a lot easier, but if we here and click on used in crafting, it says that it's used in this recipe, and you can see here that it crafts a 500 to 600 item. What this makes me to believe, I haven't been able to use one, is this isn't going to roll legendary. I know there was some speculation that this was going to have the, you know, it'll be a legendary roll, but it looks like it's not going to be. It's just going to be a random perk, just like a normal item, but it's going to cost you the Scarab, the Iron Guardsman, and the Timeless Shards. Of course, we are almost tripling the Iron Guardsman insignias. We are tripling the Timeless Shards, and uh, it looks like we have the regular set of materials. I mean, this is going to be a little bit setback from the people that thought this was going to be legendary, but this is going to be still by far the best way to get your BIS items. You'll need around, I would imagine, 10 of these if you craft your item correctly to probably get your BIS or really have a good shot at getting your BIS. For instance, if I wanted to craft a chest piece with Shirking Fort, Resilient, uh, Refreshing Ward, one of my company members just crafted that. Well, what I would probably do, because Resilient is so highly on the, the list of things to craft, I would craft Shirking Fort, and I would craft Refreshing Ward on it, and then I would roll it and see what happens, and more than likely, you would get Resilient. So, you will have to go see. It's going to be weird using these, because you're going to have to really go after your BIS items, which means you're going to have to probably craft something that maybe not be usable until it actually hits that Legendary and hits that craft. But it's going to be a great way to get your legendary material. This is going to be great on rings as well to craft your mortal empowerment, your invigorated punishment to get like those double damage ones. You know, like for instance, mortal empowerment with thrust, you could do thrust and mortal empowerment dex ring and pop off with it. And if it hits hardy or really any perk that's relatively useful, it's going to be very expensive. So. These are going to be pretty insane. I don't know how easy they are going to be to get, but I can't wait to get my hands on a couple of them because we're going to definitely be doing some crafting. Next, we have some really exciting new food. So I know from 
now on everybody doesn't use 40 con food well they use 40 con food but they don't use 40 strength food 40 focus food or if they do they get really upset about how much it costs the legendary material for that food is really not that accessible you can get it but it's not that accessible but that is going to change because we have new 40 recipes we have one for each of them and you see here we have the armadillo food we can even click on it we can see the recipe uh recipe. now we have the food and it takes armadillo meat which they are pretty rampant in brimstone stands you can actually on the ptr go kill a few fish sauce squash corn tomato onion peppercorn these are super cheap to make and they're going to be your 40 focus food now what i imagine is going to happen is all of your dual stat food are probably going to go by the wayside we're probably not going to be using those nearly as much so if you have a lot of your carrot cakes and stuff like that you probably want to get rid of them because these are going to be a little bit better to use it's going to make your build a little bit more fleshed out you could you know run like if you want to run maybe six or 200 or 300 200 but maybe sometimes you like to run 150 you can run 300 160 and then be able to just use the 40 stat food to either get up to 200 or to put a little bit of extra money or points into damage there are also a lot of the other ones every single one of the uh stat foods con strength decks they're all on here if you want to go you can check them all out uh, i actually went a little bit too far but uh you can actually go check them out they're pretty good they're a lot cheaper than doing the other ones they have like scorpions we can actually just go cooking I see there's the armadillo we have here is the con one so this is the new con one and then we have there's the scorpion one the scorpion one's intelligence but it's going to be a lot cheaper to get these items because it's going to be a lot cheaper what's, what's there here's the dex one the dex one's typically pretty expensive we can click on the recipe here and again it's armadillo meat string beans fish sauce corn onion peppercorn tomato so Super cheap to make because armadillos are everywhere and we're going to be able to get some really cheap food. That is a, quite amazing and I'm super excited about it. So the next thing we're going to talk about, and this is something I put in my other video, is something that I found, well, I shouldn't say I found, someone found on the PTR. They didn't find the recipe, but they actually found a old, like they found, I think it was these cooked cranberries. So I'm not 100% sure if these are coming back. They definitely could be. If you look on here, it does say, oh, they actually removed it. At one point, these said that this was no longer uh, available, but they removed it. So if these are on live, these are going to be absolutely massive. And this is your stamina regeneration recovery food. These are going to be absolutely crazy. These are going to be a must have for everybody. I did a video talking about these, so we're not going to go into these on too in-depth detail. but these are going to be pretty crazy you have not a, so the tier four ones are going to be a little bit less uh heavy on the crafting by a little bit less i mean a ton less these don't take tarragon at all and they don't take a whole lot of different materials you see here we just we'll go ahead and click on it for you so just cranberries melons nuts honey lemon strawberry but if you look on the the big one it does take tarragon orange lemon sugar water barley cranberry so that tarragon really ups it for only an extra 2% stamina regeneration. So if these do make it to live, so here it goes. This recipe seems to be disabled in game. So we will see if they end up being in the game. These are going to be super popular. Everybody going to need to have these and craft these for sure. Next, I want to talk about a recipe for a great sword. Great sword is no shock to anybody. It is coming out and it is going to be super popular. And this recipe actually is kind of good. And this is the schematic for the Craftsman's Passion. It takes Asmodium, Runic Leather, Glittering Ebony, two Empowered Counterbalances, uh, Azerite Chunks, Shift Tide, and let's look at the weapon. And it's really, really good. We have a Vicious, Keenly Empowered, and Thwarting Strikes. Before you jump off the page, talk about how this is so stupidly crazy, Note that it is a dex weapon, but if you are not running 200 con and you are running a weapon with 300 strength and maybe 50 dexterity, this weapon is absolutely going to pop 
off. This is going to be the best weapon you can probably make. This has got to, unless you're like Thwarting Strikes, Attunement, and I don't even know what else. You could implement whatever you want as the third perk, third damaging perk. I think this is going to outperform it because Thwarting Strikes and Vicious cannot roll together. Anytime you crit, it is going to deal 22% more damage. And it's going to be absolutely crazy. You also get the Keenly Empowered bonus, which is pretty crazy. And this weapon is going to absolutely pop off. Now, having said that, like I said, this could be a weapon that it's going to only fit very niche builds. It's going to be 300 strength and minimum 50 dex players. And it'll probably be a 50 dex weapon. But if you can finagle that, this weapon is going to be absolutely crazy. You should get your hands on it. It looks like this weapon is bind on a quip as well. So once you get this recipe, you can craft it for some people and uh, sell them for quite a high price, I imagine. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot of crazy new stuff's coming in the new patch, and I can't wait to bring it to you. Anytime I see anything new, you will see a video about it. We have some new stuff here, and I'm sure once we get the next update, we will see some new things. And I'm sure there's some things on the game that I haven't seen yet or that nobody's seen yet that I can't wait to dive into as soon as I find it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, like always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.